Hello everyone, welcome to Pumpkin Horror. Now today we're going to be touching base on a prop. This right here, what you're seeing right now, is the Michael Myers mask. Yep. It's been a little deformed, okay? He's been through a lot, but it is Michael Myers, okay? I'm just messing around. It's an actual mask that I actually um, left on the turntable. And we're just too lazy to pull it off. It is the Mohawk Zombie from... The Return of the Living Dead 1985 movie. You don't actually see this in the movie in itself. It is on the one sheet poster art where you see the female zombie and the Mohawk zombie standing behind the tombstone where Jason Mabry and the team from Trick or Treat Studios decided to create a mask based on that Mohawk zombie. Anyway, that's what that is. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to touch base on a particular prop from Halloween Kills and that's the actual knife and I'm going to show you the box and all the good stuff and then I'm going to pull it out of the box and here we go okay now as you can see right here this is the actual box you see the Trick or Treat Studios logo now it says age 17 and above guys okay so if you're anything younger than 17 do not touch this knife okay guys now that's just an age requirement. But anyway, this here is the actual knife. I know there's probably a glare. I'm not positively sure. All right. But it does look like a chef's knife, even though they say it's a butcher knife. It is approximately 13 inches from the tip to the actual handle. It's about 13 inches long. These are technically 8-inch knives because I work with knives because I'm in culinary. And this is an 8-inch eight, eight knife. I prefer the 10-inch. They are bigger for me. But that's just me. Okay. But anyway, this is technically, as they say, a butcher knife. But it's not. It's technically a chef's knife. Okay. Or a... It's not a French knife. But but it's pretty damn close. But it looks... I'll tell you what. When I get it out of the box, we're going to talk about it. But it does look like a Henkel. Okay. It's kind of built like it a little bit. Anyway, here's the rest of the box. Okay. Halloween... Kills. <laughs> Alright, and same thing with the other side, the box art. Kills. <laughs> I'm just messing with you guys. <laughs> Alright, safety. It says remove all fasteners and tags. And this pretty much gives you the safety, uh, safety points. It is technically a sharp point, so you can stab and hurt somebody with this, but we're going to find out by pulling it out of the box. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut this off, and I'll be right back because I'm going to pull it out of the box in case I run into problems problem getting it out of the box, okay? Be right back. Okay, we are back, and surprisingly, it was ridiculously easy enough to pull it out of the box. It's just sitting in its holder, and that's just that simple. It wasn't fastened or anything, but here's what the box looks like. It's got a little color shading in it. If you want to keep your knife in the bro in the box, in the box, okay. Uh, that's what I plan on doing. I keep mine in the box, and I'm going to show you the knife here in a second. But that's what the actual box looks like. The, the actual knife holder, okay. And you can see the mold. Right. Anyway, let's go ahead and look at the knife. Okay. Now it is made of a plastic, okay. And she's got a nice little shine to it. Okay, there we go. It's supposed to technically be a realistic looking knife, and it does for the most part look really good. Alright, and he does some major stabbing in this movie. Okay, and there is some discrepancies when it comes to the movie. Apparently, he stabbed two homosexuals and they're making a big fuss about it. In my opinion, they need to leave well enough alone. He didn't stab them because they were gay. He stabbed them because they were people, and that's what Michael does. He kills people, and it's nothing more than that. People need to get over themselves. But anyway, long story short, and that's just stupid, okay? And that's what the knife looks like, okay? Now, like I said, it looks like a French knife. I mean, not a French knife, but a chef's knife. But it is an 8-inch knife, not the actual 10-inch. It would have been cool to see him use a 10-inch because that one's super long. It would have gone through your body and out the back, okay? <laughs> Yeah, I use the 10 inch. I know how long those things are. Okay, but it does look kind of like a hankle. I've got a complete set of hankles. 
and as you can see here on the edge it is molded together all right you can see the little groove all right and show you the patterns And like I said, it looks a lot like a hanko because of the way it's shaped in the in the heel. Or the, well, I forgot what. There's a name for these things, but anyway, it looks very much like a uh, hanko. Now here's the thing about that. I noticed this here. It does get smudged. So my suggestion, if you're using it for display purposes, clean it, put it back in its holder, and leave it alone. Okay. So hang on, let me get the right angle there. Yeah, there seems to be a little discrepancy in the knife, okay? It's not perfect. Yeah, okay, it's just the way the plastic is. I don't know if you can actually see it, but there is dimples in it. But that's just the way the plastic is. It's not 100% perfect. I don't know if I can get the right angle so you can see it. But it is rather cool looking. Really realistic to a certain degree, with the exception of um, those little discrepancies here. It's not a bad thing, okay? I plan on leaving it in the box and leaving it sit on the shelf with the other two masks. Anyway, that's pretty much it on this knife, okay? It is a full uh, tang, okay? So that's a good thing. Anytime you purchase a knife, you want a full tang that goes all the way through the handle and it's uh, you know, riveted in. Those knives last a lot longer than the ones where they have the little tang and it's slipping into the handle. Those don't last as long, okay? But anyway, long story short, this is the Halloween Kills Michael Myers 8-inch uh, uh, butcher knife, as they call it, okay? I know it's got a nice little shine to it, too. All right, like I said, as you can see here in the grooves, it is molded together, okay? So it's not 100% perfect, but it is a very cool-looking knife, all right? And like I said on the blade, it has it does have its little ripples, so it's not 100% perfect, okay? So keep that in mind. It's not a completely smooth knife. Anyway, this is Pumpkin Horror. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell because I will be pushing out some more videos once I get some um, more stuff in. I do have a total of eight Jason Voorhees masks coming in. We'll do a video on that when that comes in, okay? They're not official, so you, you'll see them. Anyway, they look cool just the same. They're going to look really cool on my wall, all right? Anyway, you guys have yourselves a good day.